Hello, I'm Franciscan Father Greg Friedman here at the Franciscan Monastery of the Holy Land with a reflection for the first Sunday of Advent. How good are you at waiting? I once worked with someone who could not wait patiently for a birthday or for Christmas. She wanted to know what gifts she might be receiving and didn't really care about being surprised. Tell me what you're going to get me, she'd joke as the holidays approached. The Advent season might make such a person a bit impatient because it's all about waiting expectantly. Waiting for the coming feast of Christmas, waiting for the glorious coming of Christ at the end of time, and waiting for God each and every day. On the first Sunday of Advent, we hear about that second coming. The events which Jesus predicts before the end are terrifying. Terrifying enough to make anyone want to put off those final days as long as possible. But Jesus doesn't want us to be surprised, but fully awake and aware. The Lord's advice, coupled with Paul's words to his mission church community, the Thessalonians in the second reading, can apply to us in the 21st century as well. And that third kind of expectant waiting I mentioned. If the final revelation of the kingdom demands vigilance, so does the day-to-day -day unfolding of that same reality. God is at work all around us. For us, being vigilant might simply mean looking around for signs that God has loved us. Even when our personal world or the larger world around us is troubled, we're still loved by God. The coming celebration throughout the church of a year of mercy leads us to turn to God who is always merciful to us. And that's something worth waiting for. I'm Father Greg at the Franciscan Monastery of the Holy Land. Observe Advent with us.